Hey, Year 5, it's Ben here. Uh, I'm going to be reading to you this week. So what I thought we'd do, maybe a little bit different to what other people have been doing, is we're going to have a look at this general book of knowledge. And I have uh, some amazing true-false questions that we're going to be able to go through. Um, so you can play along at home. And then uh, I'm going to pose a challenge to you guys on Seesaw, to see if you guys can come up with your own amazing uh, true-false questions. But I thought... Just to get started, because this blew my mind, the humble banana. I found out some absolutely epic facts about this amazing morsel of food. Um, it's actually classified as a berry, which I did not know. I thought it was a herb. Uh, some people classify it as a fruit, but yeah, it's technically a berry, like a strawberry or a raspberry or blueberry. Um, pretty funny looking berry. Uh, what else? It is the second most popular fruit in the world. Uh, I'm going to leave it for you to figure out which is the most popular fruit in the world. I think you'll be a bit surprised. Uh, humans, you, me, share 50% of our DNA with a banana. So technically, we're all half banana. Some of us more than others. Um, it's a good mood food. So if mum and dad are in a bad mood, they're getting a bit cranky with the homeschooling, to slip them a banana because it's got something called serotonin in it which uh, helps you produce a good mood so maybe have a couple of bananas on hand and amazing fact it floats in water now that is an experiment you could probably try at home uh, maybe slip mum or dad a banana to eat first in case you make a bit of a mess but yeah they float in water I want you to uh, also on seesaw tell me why that happens um, so true or false the Milky Way galaxy is a spiral shape. So a spiral shape like that. True or false? Let's see. False! Two bars jut out from a central hub creating a shape called a barred spiral. Never heard of that. Yeah, look at that. Barred spiral. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, all right, let's have a look. What else? Uh, most African elephants are frightened of bees. Now, we think about how big an African elephant is. They're the largest land mammal in the world. Are they scared of a tiny little bee? True? False? Well, let's see. True. Nine out of ten elephants will run away from the sound of buzzing bees because the bees will sometimes sting the elephants inside their trunk. Oof, be up your nose. That wouldn't be good, would it? All right, now I've spotted a shark on there. I can't go past that. Um, true or false? Sharks evolved before dinosaurs. I think I know the answer to this one. True! Sharks appeared 450 million years ago and dinosaurs were at least 100 million years later than that. So, sharks were around first. Um, okay. Oh, identical twins will have identical fingerprints. Ava and Maya, is this true or false? Quick, check your fingers. False. So, fingerprint patterns depend on what, ba what a baby is touching in the womb. Wow, did not know that. Um, okay, peanuts. Oh, I love a peanut. Peanuts are not really nuts. True or false? Let's have a look. True. Peanuts are a kind of plant known as a legume. Legume. Uh, more similar to peas than to nuts. So no, they're not really a nut. There you go. Now, this can't be true. This can't be true. This makes no sense, but let's have a look. Uh, there are more tigers in the state of Texas. So Texas is in is a state in the US. Oh. Have a look. Ooh, whoa, whoa, long. Too far. So there's the US there. Texas is down here somewhere. Texas is down here. Okay. Now tigers technically come from Asia predominantly. 
that are around this area of the world. I am not sure how this could be true. There are more tigers in the state of Texas than there are in the wild. True. Mind blown. There are fewer than 3,000 wild tigers, but more are kept as pets or in zoos across Texas alone. That is sad. That is not a good thing. Um, right. Couple more. Mosquitoes have teeth. True or false? True. Mosquitoes' teeth are technically described as mandibles. And here's a diagram. So if one comes into your bedroom tonight, you'll be able to say, keep your mandibles off me. There, they're mandibles just there, I think. Uh, right. A harp, which is that stringed instrument there, has the most strings of any instrument. I'm trying to think. So we've got guitars, violins, violas. Uh, I can't think of any more. I'm sure you'll be able to think of some more. Let's see if that's right. False. Oh, yes. Piano. A grand concert harp has 47 strings. A standard grand piano has 230 strings. So, not even close. All right. Now, this is one I thought would be very cool to sort of try at home, um, obviously safely. Hot water is heavier than cold water. So I'm not going to answer that question to you. You're going to try and figure that out at home. So maybe get some hot water, get some cold water. Um, if you've got a measuring scale, maybe in the kitchen, if you've been doing some baking, maybe you could figure that out for us and post that on Seesaw. Uh, obviously not boiling hot water. Right, one more just to blow our minds one step further. Your tongue can detect just four different types of tastes. So that sort of sounds about right. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. So looking at four, I'm going to imagine that's true. False. What? Human tongues can detect at least five different kinds of tastes. We have bitter, sweet, sour, salty, and something called umami. Umami. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Right, there's another challenge. Find out what umami is and what, what sort of foods would taste like that. Okay, so very short and sweet, but I just thought let's, let's use this time to sort of develop our general knowledge of the world. Um, so challenge this week on Seesaw, find out if hot water is heavier than cold water, find out if uh, what umami is and what sort of taste that is and find out your own facts. What are you interested in? Is it, it could be the living world, could be human history, could be how things are made. Uh, yeah, blow us away, please. Put everything you find out on Seesaw. Um, make sure you're doing everything else. There's mats going up there as well. Um, but stay safe. Hopefully see you guys soon. And uh, yeah, 